Hey everyone, this is Alicia Costanzo and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing my tabletop TBR game. Sorry that uh, I'm not in front of my bookshelves but I have to work the next three days, like all day. So we're doing it at work. Before work, let's get to it. By the way, I'm only two books left in my TBR and I've got about five days or so and they both are reading with my balls. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. I should at least finish one of them. So it'll be okay and not get a punishment. That is the hope. Anyways, on to roll number one. Roll number one is a doubles because of course it is. Why would it be anything else? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One of these guys, and we have sci-fi. So roll number one. We're off to a great start. We have a doubles. So we're up to seven rolls. But I did get sci-fi which is not a bad role if i do say myself if i do say so myself because i have a series that i want to finish that is sci-fi and that is aurora's end by kaufman and Kristoff. and this is book three in the trilogy and i'm excited to figure out what happens so space academy saving a girl from the past having to fight people because she's gonna fix some shit like that's the ba most basic summary i can give you without giving you spoilers so excited good roll number one let's get on to roll number two roll number two one two three four five six and we've got a challenge read so roll number two is a challenge read or a challenge book they're interchangeable whatever this one i chose the last book in a challenge that i have to finish which is my ranking challenge and it is called faded by rebecca zanetti zanetti i do not know anything about this book other than it is urban fantasy paranormal kind of stuff there's a naked chest on the cover um so probably some romance too and it fits with all of the like late 90s early 2000s urban fantasy books for the series so that is all i've got for you guys on that one but i'm looking forward to finishing this challenge this is another one i have to read with my eyeballs so yes okay but we also passed the star so let's pick one of our last four. I kind of want this guy. <laughs> Drunk versus high. All right. Also, I passed a star or past start, I should say. So I've got a challenge and that is drunk versus high. I do not have a book to tell you about because I will not know until I get drunk or high and pick some books <laughs> and figure out which one I'm reading first. So I will start the challenge this month. I will record the beginning of the video. I don't know if I should make it two parts. And then I will let you guys know what book from the lists I'm reading because I'm making two. And I don't know quite how I want to do this yet, if I want to actually have to buy the books or if I can just make separate lists on my library. We will see. We will see what I can finagle because Girl Don't Got a Lot of Money. But I'm very excited about this. I stole this from Books on Lala, by the way. It sounded like a fun video to make, so I made it a challenge. Okay, let's get on to roll number three. Roll number three. Eleven. One, two, three. We stop there because it's a stop. And roll this guy. We've got a two, which is our starts with. Roll number three is a starts with. Let's put the wheelie up. It's going to tell me a letter. I'm going to pick a book that starts with said letter. And yes. Okay, we got C. C is a good letter to get. And I actually have one on my 22 before 2022 list that I need to read in the next two months. So I chose it and it's called <laughs> The Chosen and the Beautiful. And hey, honey, I do not know how to say your name. is Nivu, Nivo. I struggled with this last time when I read her other book, but I don't know anything about this one either, other than I've been wanting to read it all year and that I loved the first book that I read of hers. I know it's gonna be some strong female shit, which I am all for some strong female shit. And there's probably gonna be some magical elements. Yeah, that's what the last book was. If I can go based on the last book, that is. So, yes. Yes for this. Okay, I have a lot more things to do. So let's get on to roll number four. Roll number four. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are these guys? Water on the cover. Okay. So roll a number four is water on the cover. Now I had a couple options for this, but I ended up choosing one of the other ones that had water on the cover for a different prompt. So this one is After the Flood by Cassandra Montag. Montag? Montag. 
you're gonna see a theme here. I don't know anything about this fucking book <laughs> other than there's water. I think it's an apocalypse where the sea level rises, which is really cool. I like that kind of thing. And actually, I do remember that it reminded that it reminded me of a story that I published before with in my one of my anthologies with my business partner. It was actually his story about New Orleans being underwater and like scavenging for things and some voodoo stuff. Um, I don't know if the voodoo's gonna be in it, but it gave me similar kind of vibes. So that's what I remember from reading it oh so long ago, the description. And so that is what I'm choosing for water on the cover. Probably could have had many other decisions, but we're gonna try something new. So wish me well with that. Okay, let's get on to roll number five. Roll well, number five. Use another doubles, and it's the same number for the doubles. And we've got a double, double prompt. Faye retelling. That actually is pretty cool. So roll number five with a double prompt, and I got Faye and retelling. And I actually have a book from a previous challenge that I didn't complete that fits those things. That is Everland by Wendy Spinell. And this is a Peter Pan retelling and it is a post-apocalyptic Peter Pan retelling, I think. Post-apocalyptic? Yeah, there's a virus, deadly outbreak for children. I read something similar here recently that was fantastic that had an outbreak of a virus that, uh, that was better for, I guess, young adults more than children. Anyways, this is what I'm choosing because that makes me think Faye. I know there's fairies in it, you know, Tinkerbell and shit, so that's what we're going with. All right, let's get on to roll number six. By the way, that one was a doubles and it didn't say as much, so I now have what, what, eight? Eight books? Okay, let's go figure out what book number six is. Roll number six. The seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Adapted into a movie. Roll number six was adapted into a movie. And I feel like I've had this one already this year. I'm totally okay with it though, by the way, because the other one I really was one of my favorites for the month. But I chose Where the Crawdads Sing for this one. And that is by Dela Delala Deli Delia. I don't know how to say your name, honey. Owens. I should really like figure this shit out beforehand, but girl's busy. This was the other choice for the water on the cover, but I saw on one of my on my trip to New York somebody watching it in a seat in front of me, and I like kept ca catching glimpses of it. And I'm like, what fucking movie is that? I'm like, oh, I know that movie. My coworker just watched and read this movie book thing and um i want to read it now so i'm totally going to read it now and uh, it's like one of the first female killer court cases murder cases of the little bits that i saw the movie i know there was an attempted rape and she beat the shit out of him and then apparently he was dead and so she's like blamed for his murder and it's about the whole thing and she like had this whole life that was just hard that is what i gathered from it so yep i'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna watch this movie and it's gonna be an exciting time. And we are gonna get on to roll number seven. Roll number seven. One, two, three. <sighs> okay. Well, we're doing another challenge and another roll. DNF revive. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. So I landed on another challenge space, which means that. I also had another roll, so we're up to nine. What two challenges? Oh my gosh. This one is DNF Revive. So this is not like a hard DNF Revive. It's ones that I just haven't finished. So all of those ones on my Goodreads list, I'm gonna pick four or five out of them and I'm gonna finish reading them. I know one of them is Empire the Vampire. I keep putting a the in front of it. Just Empire the Vampire. I know one of them's Haunted, which actually I can't do because it's for a different challenge. I know one of them's Half half Bad? No, it's the second to Half Bad. Half Wild. Or Sally Green. It's like, I know what I'm reading for this and I just have to like get myself in the space. I do know that one of them is going to be Siege and Storm, which is the one I'm choosing for this month, Lee Bardugo, because I just didn't, I don't know why I just didn't get to it. Probably because it wasn't on my list of things that I had to read. So it just kept getting pushed. I have to read it again with my ibbles. So this is gonna be a lot of reading with my eyes this month. Because last month I had my two rollovers, or my, at least my one rollover is gonna be reading with my eyes. So, okay. Season Storm is number two to, oh my God, Blood and Bone, Grocery Universe. I am so excited for this book. Okay, let's get on to roll 
Number eight. Roll number eight. Seven. Ooh. Picked it up straight off the floor and it is a 12. So we are gonna go with that challenge book. Roll number eight is another challenge read. Thank you. I have so many to finish. Uh, and I have some that are finished that I just haven't posted yet. So welcome to the craziness that is my world. I'm going to pick Stalker by Faye Kellerman. I have a physical book of this. I just didn't pull it out because I'm ridiculous. I don't know why. But it's sitting there on my shelf. And this is a poppy suggest. So my dad suggested this book to me. I've read a, her husband's book before and it was okay with it. He said this one should be, I should like it a lot better. So we will see about this and I know it's going to be some type of detective or political thriller or something like that because that's what my dad reads so and there's gonna be a stalker that's all I know that's all I know that's all I need to know because I have to read it either way so okay let's get on to what is hopefully our ninth and final roll in number nine oh it's our last roll this is another challenge read I will take it we'll take it it is our final roll and it is another challenge read. Thank you. So this will help me finish up one and more. Uh, I think this is the last one I have to do for my favorite author recommendations. So I picked like four or five different authors that I absolutely love and I picked their favorites or their recommendations off of BookBub. And I think, this is this the one finally Jay Kristoff suggested? It is stronger, faster, and more beautiful. I feel like cyborg -y things are going on. I don't, I again don't know. I don't know. I looked it up so long ago, but I know I have to read it. And I know that one of my favorite authors recommended it. So I'm on, I'm on board. I'm on board for it. So far they haven't let me down. So, okay. Now with all this in mind, I still have two more books on my list for this month because of the challenges, my romance challenge and the buzzword-a-thon challenge. My co-worker wanted to show me her costume. She was a grower. <laughs> Just so fantastic. Okay, so first is my romance reading challenge for the year is a featuring a book featuring food. And so I picked Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. I'm pretty sure there's like a stolen recipe. They're tweeting each other. There's a feud. It's a hate to love, a romance thing. Pretty sure it's young adult or new adult. It's one of those two. There's that one. And then the second. The buzzword of thought one is ending in our, has ing in it. That's all it says, it's ing. So I chose A Gathering of Shadows by V. Schwab, and this is book two with this portal magic and the three different Londons and this guy who goes through the portals and the young female thief, and I am so excited for this. This is the kind of book that even though I'm listening to it, I have to listen to it or I will miss something. So I'm excited for another V. Schwab book because I am in the middle of one right now, which is Galant. Finally getting to it. Okay. So there are um, 9, 10, 11, the 12 books I'm going to try to read this month. Which means there should be no deviating, though I have other things while holds. So we'll see how many books I read in November because there's also NaNoWriMo. So, yes, yeah, so let me know how you are doing this month, what books are on your list, have you read any of these? And let me know, just in general, how you're doing, and I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!